Okay, so we're looking today at a probability problem. Uh, let's read the question through and then think about how we're going to solve. So we've got red counters and blue counters in a bag. The ratio of the number of red counters to the number of blue counters is two to three. Two counters are chosen at random from the bag. Probability that both the counters are red is 46 over 295. And it asks us to work out the probability that both the counters are blue. Now, we don't know how many of either number of counters there are here. So we're going to have to use some algebra to form and solve an equation. So I'm going to start by saying, well, the number of red counters is 2x, then the number of blue counters must be 3x, because they're in the ratio 2 to 3. And if that's the case, then the total number of counters is 5x. And that's going to be important when we're forming denominators. So it gives us the probability of both red. So that's how I'm going to form my equation. So the probability of red and red is going to be 2x out of 5x for the first one, multiplied by 2x minus 1, 5x minus 1. And we know that that is equal to 46 out of 295. Now, in many cases, when we have an equation like this, it would form a quadratic. And at first glances, that looks like it can. But here, we can divide top and bottom here through by x. So it's actually 2 fifths rather than 2x over 5x. They're the same thing. So that just gives me a much simpler algebra. So I'm going to have 4x minus 1 on 4x minus 2, sorry, as me being silly, 4x minus 2 on the numerator and 25x minus 5 on the denominator. And we know that that's going to be equal to 46 over 295. Now I need to sort these fractions out. So I'm going to multiply by 295. I'm going to multiply by 25x minus 5. So that would give me 295, lots of 4x minus 2, and 46, lots of 25x minus 5. Now look to expand my brackets. I'm going to get 1180x minus 590. And that's going to be equal to 1150x minus 230. Okay, so going to take the 1150x from both sides and I'm going to add the 590. So that's going to leave me with 30x is equal to 360. Divide through by 30, x is equal to 12. Now, if you could have solve the equation leaving this value of x in we would have been left with a quadratic uh, in that case we would have been given two solutions um, i believe one of them would be x equals zero and the other one would be x equals 12. we can discount the x equals zero because that would mean there'd be no counters in the back um, so we know that x equals 12 here now if we refer back to the top we know that r is equal to 2x b is 3x and the total is 5x so i can now write down what them values actually are so R, 2x, 2 lots of 12 is 24. Blue, 3x, 3 lots of 12, 36. And the total, 5x, 5 lots of 12 is 60. The last step then is to actually calculate probability the questions are asked for. So the question has asked for the probability of blue and blue. So I know the probability of getting blue first time around is 36 out of 60. And then on the second choice, that would be 35 out of 59. This is one less blue and one less in total. Pop that in your calculator, 21 over 59.